Hello and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn what a 3D lens is, how you can find 3D objects, and how you can use 3D objects in your lenses in Lens Studio. All the resources that I'm going to be using in order to make this lens is given down in the description below. And yeah, let's create. Okay, so how do we create 3D lenses in Lens Studio? Firstly, let's understand what 3D objects are. This is the simplest way you can understand what a three-dimensional object is. A 3D object is just a 2D shape which is stacked up together. When a 2D shape is stacked up together, you get a three-dimensional shape. A tree in a basic form is just the combination of two 3D shapes, which is a cone and a cylinder, a cone for the top and the cylinder for the trunk. Similarly, a face is just a spear which is elongated on both sides and then modifications are made in order to make it look like an actual face. So this is what a three-dimensional object is. In Lens Studio, there are different ways in which you can use 3D objects. You can use it a 3D object to be tracked to the body. You can also use an animated 3D object to appear on the ground. Um, another popular way to use a 3D object is to use it on the face and use it as to use it as clothing, as jewelry, as sunglasses and things like that. So where do you get 3D objects from? You can make your own 3D objects using softwares like Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, Fusion 360 and, and other similar softwares. But in case you don't want to make your own 3D objects, you can also find them online. One popular website which is used a lot in order to make 3D lenses and find 3D objects in general is called Sketchfab. You can also find 3D objects of better quality on cgtrader.com. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use the Sketchfab website. Here. You can search for any type of object that you want. I'm going to search for hat. Once you search for your object, click on downloadable. A lot of these objects are paid objects, but there are a lot of the objects that are free to use. Like this one right here. All you have to do is check the top right icon on top of the object. You can see this one is available on store, which means you'll have to pay for it. But this one right here is a downloadable model, which you can download. In Lens Studio, you can use three types of 3D objects. They are OBJ files, FBX files, and GLB files. If you click on download 3D model, you can see that there are a bunch of options right here. I'm going to select the GLB option in the bottom most, which has the least size. I'm going to save my 3D object. Once that's done, you can open a new project. To import the object into your Lens Studio software, click on Add New Resource in your Resource Panel, Import File, Locate your file, and click on open. Here, since it's a GLB file, you get a dialog box like this. You can change anything you want here, but for this lens, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to import it. Depending on the size of your file, this might take a couple of seconds. Now, I want the at to be placed on top of my head. To do that, I'm going to click on add new object, search for head binding and then add the hat into my head binding. You can see that the hat is way too big. To change the size, you can see that there's a dialog box right here. Click on this uniform scale option and change this. I'm going to see for 10. This is still too big. So I'm going to change this to one. So a little too small. You just have to adjust it to a place where it looks good. 
Next, I want to change the location of this. To do that, there are a couple of options right here on top. If you hover over it, you can see what they do. The first option is called the selection option, which you can use with the shortcut Q. Next is the move option, which you can manipulate using the shortcut W. So I'm going to select this, zoom in a little bit, and then with the top arrow, I'm going to move this up. Next, if I rotate this, I can also move this a little forward. I can also test it on myself and see that it's looking good. This was how you can add 3D objects on top of your face. Lens Studio also offers a wide range of 3D templates. Some of my favorite ones include the wristwatch, the clothes try-on where you can actually try on clothes, a fairly new one called as a necklace try-on that lets users use necklaces and the earrings try-on, which is also a fairly new template which has been added into Lens Studio. And yeah, you can experiment around with them, see what works, what doesn't work. You can also find um, other 3D earrings and assets like that in websites like Sketchfab. And yeah, this was how you can make 3D lenses on Lens Studio. If you want a tutorial on how to make these 3D objects, do put it down in the link below. I will also be sharing links to other tutorials which are really, really good for 3D lenses. And yeah, keep learning. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.